Will property prices continue to climb for here or we are at the peak of the market and this is the end of it. Hi everyone, this is Pete here. So today we're going to go through the Singapore property latest updates from the URA quarterly report. But before that, let's talk about the last weekend where we had two new launch that just came out, right? And this is none other than Hewlock Green. Okay, so Hewlock Green actually uh, did pretty decent, okay, brought in about 1,600 visitors to the first weekend. However, the one that really clinched the price is Jaden. okay. So for those of you who don't know, I did a video on Jaden. you can go and take a look at my previous video. But last weekend, Jaden actually brought in 7,000 visitors, okay. So like I said, if this is priced correctly, Jaden is going to likely see almost a sellout event here. But... You might be wondering, right, why such a big difference uh, between Jaden and Hewlock Green, okay? Both are new launches at the same time. And I think that is very obvious because right now, when you look at the Lentor area, there are just huge amount of supply of unit coming up. Whereas for Jurong East, right, the supply actually is very low, right? Jaden is actually one of the three condominiums that's available right now. And on top of that, I feel that Jurong is much better because of the future development where you have the HSR, Jurong Lake District, Jurong Region Line, and so many more things that's going to happen there. All right. So I just want to wish all of you here who are betting for it the very best of luck. But I wish more luck for my client first. Now let's take a look at the latest URA quarterly results. Okay, so this has just been off the oven, right? It's been confirmed. So overall, the total residential uh, prices has gone up by 0.8%, which is pretty... Pretty, really good, right? Uh, however, first thing first is, of course, landed had a uh, correction down 3.6%. We see that the non-landed segment actually still went up by 2.2%. Okay, so guys, whenever you look at such numbers and on the newspaper where it says, oh, private property only went up by 0.8%, break it down a little bit, right? Don't just take it face value because how many of us actually stay in landed property? Very few of us, right? Less than 5% of us. So the majority of us should be looking at this number here, right? And 2.2% is an excellent number. Now, what makes up the 2.2%? You can see that CCR continues to weaken a little bit. However, RCR went up by 2.1% and OCR went up by 5.5%, right? So overall, the market is still pretty hot. Uh, the demand is still very strong. And more importantly, when the demand is in the RCR and the OCR region, you know that these are less likely to be foreign investors or even investors of that sort, because mostly these are own stay buyers. Now let's break down this even further, right? So what are the things that uh, came out during this weekend? So you can see here, this actually gives you a snapshot of the number of private residential uh, units, uh, including EC. And this quarter has been a very, very high quarter. Uh, we had over 9,000 units that's been completed right in this quarter. And this is the highest number we have ever seen since the second quarter of 2016 okay so what's the impact of this is that i think the large number of units will have some impact to slow down the price growth but take note guys this is just a slower pri price growth not a price drop okay so if you are looking at buying there is still a cost to wait right and on top of that if you are already renting a place every month that you wait to rent you need to pay one month more of rent okay so just take note of that um, there may be an opportune time in this quarter, right? Because of the larger supply coming up. But the question is, why is there a sudden larger supply? And that's because this quarter, there are many projects TOPing, including the two largest condo in Singapore right now, which is Treasure at Tampines and Normanton Park. So we temporarily see a spike in the supply, but I do expect the next quarter, the supply to go back down to the usual uh, 3K, 4K again. Now, while we see this quarter having a 9,000 unit supply, it is important for us as property investors to look forward, to look into the future supply, what is coming up, okay? So if you look down over here, this is also from the URA report this quarter, and it talks about the private residential unit for each year, okay? And you can see that in 2024, they uh, expected about 9,800 units to be completed, but this number will drop a lot by 2025, 2026, right? It's 6,000 and 5,000. And 2027, we do see another 9,000, but beyond that, the number is shockingly low, right? It's only about 3,000. So what does this mean? That means actually going forward beyond 2025, we do expect a shortfall in supply, right? The supply is going to be quite thin over here. And the good thing is that we can actually look at this uh, graphically, right? So this was actually a previous quarter 
uh, supply chart, right? Where they say that in 2023, uh, total supply of units is about 19,200 units, okay? But the latest updated number here is that they say this year, we're going to have over 20,300 units of supply of new private condo coming up to the market. So once again, for those of you who have been waiting a while, you wanting to buy, when the supply is huge, right? You know what to do. But please do not wait for too long. Why? Looking forward after 2023, 2024, right? The numbers that uh, you already projected here is about 12,000 and then dropped to 7,000, 7,000. Now, 2026, it looks like a very big number, 24,000. But however, take note here is that this number is inclusive of all future units. So could it be 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, right? Three 7,000 equals to 21,000, right? So how is it distributed? I don't know, right? But even if I bring it down to just three years or 7,000, it's still a very sharp decrease in supply from this year, 20,000 down to 7,000. It's almost just one third. And in addition, when I put these two chart, right? This is the previous quarter one, right? Those are the Q2 and this Q3. Um, what we notice is that number one, okay? The shortfall in supply is getting more severe. You can see that previously they projected around 8,000 and high 7,000, right? But right now they are all low 7,000. That's number one. Number two is this. The future supply did go up a little bit, right? It went up by 2,000 over units. It was 22,000 over here, and then it went up to 24,000. So that is some good news because with greater supply, we can moderate the price growth. But to me, it really doesn't matter because once again, unless I got a bigger picture on how this is gonna look like in 2027, 2028, right? This could be actually even out to infinitely into the future, which could still mean an undersupply, right? So we're going to still see a shortfall. In fact, the interim shortfall between 2024 to 2026 is about 755 units, right? It got even lesser this time around. So how does this translate? This translates to around maybe two condominiums, right? Of that size, right? So once again, for those of you who've been thinking, hey, babe, peep, should I just wait a little bit? Will price come down? I would say up to 2026, even if 2027, right? Because we look at the chart over here, even at 2027, it doesn't seem like the price is going to come down because we are not going to come back to this glorious year, which is 2023, of 20 over 1,000 unit supply, okay? Now, the next thing is I want to look at vacancy before we end off this video, right? You can see that right now, there's a very, very sharp increase in vacancy rate, right? Across the board. So CCR is at 10%. RCR is at 9.3%, OCR is at 7.3%. Overall, the vacancy rate for Singapore right now is 8%. Wow, that is very high because traditionally our vacancy rate ranges between 3 to about 6%. Please don't be panicking because what we are seeing here is a temporary effect of all the new TOP units that's coming up, right? So once all these units are rented or once the owners moved in, right, I do expect this number to come down. Hey, but one thing is for sure is that no one can predict the future. If I do not see this vacancy number come down, then I might change my mind about where the property price is going from here. All right, so this is my analysis of the URA latest data. Just to summarize, I think overall, the property price strength is still pretty good. The supply is still very tight and people still need a place to stay. So I'm still remaining pretty positive, right, about property prices going forward. And once again, if you're looking at new launches, be very aware of what are the new launches you're going out for right? Do not chase blindly. Make sure you understand what you're buying. And for those of you who would like to get on my one-on-one -on -one consultation, right now the application is open. You can find the link down in the description. All right. And we only open 15 slots each time because I want to make sure that I give all my one-on-one -on -one clients my best, right? And I don't just go for quantity over here. Okay. So for those of you who are applying, right, I'll let you know if you're being accepted here. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Very quick one. Let me know what do you think. If you like such content, do like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.